Hello everybody, welcome again to how to build your own one piece, one of a kind guitar using relatively basic instruments and tools. Well today, we're gonna do something that's anything but romantic. So I have this piece of wood here and this works WU731 angle grinder. Let the fun begin! By this time you're probably asking yourself why is it that I'm using my angle grinder instead of chisels and other tools that I have at my disposal? Well, I have several reasons. The first of all is because the angled grinder works really, really, really fast and it just saves so much money instead of uh, chiseling everything. And the second reason is because using an angle grinder is extremely cool and I enjoy it very much. I've measured the depth of the truss rod slot uh, beforehand so I know not to go too deep and if you guys feel uncomfortable using an angle grinder because it's that harsh and extreme well you can uh, actually mark with a pencil on the side of the neck to to see exactly how deep the slot of the truss rod is we would like to leave at least two millimeters of wood between the truss rod and the end of the wood so uh, you need to be really really careful not to grind too much exactly as we do for everything else in this guitar there will be uh, no spare parts if we really mess this up As you can see, I'm leaving the heel in the connection between the headstock and the neck. Well, I really like heels because they stiffen the necks so much and it will avoid cracking or any breakage in the future. As you can see, I'm using uh, my uh, angle grinder to chisel away and to sand off uh, all the wood to create uh, uh, headstock which is angled. I don't want the flat headstock because uh, then I'll have to use string retainers of some sort and I really prefer not to and I'm trying not to do uh, an angle that is too harsh and too hard so uh, the uh, strings might go out of tune due to extra friction on the nut. Now I'm working over at the connection between the neck and the body, hence the heel, and I'm just grinding it for ultimate comfort. The great concept of one piece guitar is the fact that we can cut the neck extremely deep into the body without sacrificing rigidity uh, or sustain or anything of that nature that usually we have problem with with uh, necks that are set necks or with necks that are bolt on. This neck of course is a one piece so we can really deepen the heel for extra comfort. Now I would like to grind the middle section of the guitar as you can see, we've drilled holes for tunomatic bridge. The tunomatic bridge requires a, a high angled neck for, for uh, guitars using that bridge because uh, as you can see, like Gibsons uh, and other guitars that use this, uh, this bridge, they have a really, really high angle uh, to the neck and this guitar because it's a one piece it's a uh, actually quite a low pitch guitar and a low angle guitar so i have to uh, to grind the body to accommodate the heights of the bridge to the neck 
so everything is aligned and great. Check this contour out. Most guitars have this contour. It is made specifically for comfort. And as most of my work, I, I'm just eyeballing it. And once in a while, I'm checking it against my own body to see if it's comfortable. I might need to grind some more. And using my, my technique and experience for many years, I kinda have my own style of contouring. And this is exactly how I do it. I've been building these guitars for so many years now, so I know exactly what I'm doing, but for you guys, I really recommend that you might use a pencil and have a few markings on the guitar before you start to carve or, or chisel uh, all this wood out. And of course, you can uh, Stop at any, any minute of the job and just take your guitar on your lap and just sit with it and feel if it is comfortable or not on your body. Then try to realize which part of the shape of the wood is sticking into your ribs or anything like that. I, I already know these shapes and I already know my contours but if you guys need to, to stop a minute and check what you did, this is a very smart thing to do and a smart move just to stop every once in a while and write things down and measure it and just use a pencil to mark everything you want. I don't like to ask for subscriptions and likes, but if you feel you gain value from our videos, please subscribe, share, like, comment, and ask us questions and we'll do our best to answer you. It will be much appreciated. At this point, this wood is extremely thick and we don't need all this thickness. I'm using my planer, which you all know already, and I'm just chiseling every little piece of wood out there. I just don't need it, it's way too much. I'm using my oscillating uh, spindle sander. This is not a very uh, uh, expensive machine, but it works wonders. You can sand the wood using your hands with some, I don't know, like 120 grit block of wood wrapped with some sanding paper but this will take you hours and you will never reach an extremely beautiful uh, uh, finish for your sides so I'm using this machine it is not that expensive you can buy it relatively cheap and it does wonders to your work I really recommend you buying it now I'm just straightening everything out with my Bosch sander. I love this tool as well. And it's just to make everything a little bit prettier. That's another technique that I can use to straighten the headstock and to grind more wood out of it because it is still really, really, really thick. So I'm using my, uh, my belt sander this nature and just to grind it a little bit further. Now I'm working on the uh, on the point of connection between the headstock and the fretboard and I want it nice and round so I'm using this file which you probably saw me working with in other videos. You can buy this from Stumek and it's a really, really, really nice file. I'm now just finishing up, so I'll have something nice to look at, that everything I did looks fine and smooth and good to the touch. 
So this episode was about removing all the excess wood that's not needed and it wasn't a romantic process all of it. Well, next episode is a romantic process because I'm using a spoke shave, which is very romantic and you should stay tuned. All the best, guys.